Hello and welcome back to episode 23 of the Season 2 of Uncut. We're continuing our battle against the Jodhpur Combine. I believe it's been like 15, 15, maybe 16 years since we have engaged the enemy and we are being pretty damn successful with it. Uh, we have taken losses, but uh, we're having to drive enemies away from our supply lines as the war changes into a more of a guerrilla asymmetrical warfare with very few actual big battles taking place. Uh, because of that, uh, we have quite a few uh, issues to uh, resolve. First off, we need to get our new generation of battleships underway. We also need to be in scrapping older battleships. So to do that, we need to upgrade this to a 30,000 ton yard. Uh, I'm also going to need to upgrade this to a 14,000 ton yard because of the new Bayern class uh, cruisers. Um, we have a lot of design work that I want to do, and I want to reorganize our fleet and make it into a more effective fighting force, namely... Uh, but before we get into today's episode, please, please remember to leave a comment, a like, uh, hit subscribe if you haven't already. It really does help me out, and uh, <laughs> I'm not saying this for no reason. YouTube doesn't say this for no reason. It really does actually help out with people watching the videos and algorithm and, and all that good stuff. So if you can do so, please do so. Anyway, our mineral situation is looking pretty dire, mainly in regards to the uh, maintenance supply situation. Um... A lot of our MSP is currently going towards, uh, where is it, Gal Galasite is currently going towards shipyard tasks, but uh, most importantly what's happening is going to be a maintenance supplies and we need to secure ourselves a loss of Galasite. Uh, we have quite a bit of Galasite over here on this moon um, and I'm going to, we're, we're trying to currently I believe set up uh, automated mines on the planet using civilians to transport them but anyway uh if we look at the actual situation in the battle um we're currently handling this uh in regards to the fact that we're dealing with uh enemy forces fleeing and other other various issues um i am going to have these guys go pick up the life pods really quick because they're going to be very useful and head back to 61 hydra so you can uh, just return home and i'm going to give the order for the battle cruisers to begin a ceasefire uh, we don't want to uh, engage any targets uh, and uh, pick up the life pods and we've gained information about johan 2 which seems to have two unexplored jump points and where is that located Johan to Beta Antillier. Interesting. Isn't Beta Antillier the area with... No, it isn't. It's the other place. So Beta Antillier. Uh, yeah, Beta Antillier is here. Um, and that area... Yeah, that's where Beta Antillier is. And then we've got Johan. Enemy contacts on AD Leone, but based on Tilia is gonna be the area where we want to have a look through because we kept seeing a lot of shipping coming through that area, and so I'm gonna to wanna to have to I'm gonna to wanna to deal with that at some point here. Um so we're gonna wait until uh ships have completed their orders and then I'm gonna order the first fleet. Can I order? Yeah, okay, we'll get the first fleet ready together. Um we're gonna have you what's your fuel situation? It's okay. HH Drama Day. Um then I want you to go to Beta and Tilly. Uh, before you do that though, go and do a refuel and then go to Beta and Tilly. Uh, then uh, we're going to have a look around through that area because uh, we know that Johan is here. So can we go through to Johan? Looks like we can't, but we should be able to. But we'll, we know the system's there at the very least. Either way, head back to HH Andromeda and begin a refueling effort there. Um, I want to get that sorted out. Uh, there's also further designs that I do want to build. I have an idea for a a station, uh, for, uh, a resupply station uh, specifically, uh, or an anchor base uh, that we can use for the, you know, like an anchorage. Um, this express purpose is we can tug it into a combat zone or we can tug it into an area like a forward frontier base and we can use that to refuel, resupply, all that good stuff. So... Um, I'm going to put all of the transfer systems on it, and I'm also going to then put on um, th no, thermal salvage modules. We also got salvage modules now available, so I'll we'll probably be looking into uh, building some salvage ships, uh, which they're going to be pretty big. Do we have um, 
shipyards available for that. We have a 20,000 ton shipyard, but we're going to need big goddamn big cargo holds, to be honest. Um, we can make a salvage module. That'll work. Uh, so I'll create that. So where is the, hell's the anchor which gone? So there's some. Um, so we're going to put on uh, fuel storages. We're going to put on large fuel storages. And we're going to carry... How much fuel does four battleships require? So let's say we have four Alsace class battleships. That's 8 million liters of fuel. Then we add in a Tirpitz class uh, jump cruiser. Okay, we're looking about 10 million liters of fuel. So I ideally would like to be able to maintain... Uh, can we get a refueling hub in, in actual fact? That might actually be better here and probably something I'm looking for more so. Uh, no, we don't. Okay, there's two different things I want then. I want a refueling hub, uh, which will allow us to refuel multiple ships at once. And then I'm going to be wanting a... Uh, I want uh, yeah, I want a refueling hub, but I then also want maintenance modules, which will then allow us to maintain ships uh, on their own. But I guess we can't do that just for now anyway. So instead, I'm just going to create this as a station, and we're just going to uh, get rid of the fuel, get rid of the ordnance transfer, and I'm going to give it salvage modules and cargo space. So... 2,000 tons per day, and then we want a cargo hold, standard cargo hold. Um, yeah, 2,000 tons, 1,000 BP, pretty damn cheap. I'm going to put this at i I'm going to give it a new hull designation. We're going to call this a salvage uh, module. Uh, should work fine. So SV. There we go. And we'll build that. Uh, and that will then allow us to begin salvaging a lot of the components that we have available to us. So I'm going to order for uh, three... Let's order construction for three of these modules immediately, um, and I'm going to give it a 25% uh, capability there. So yeah, so it, yeah, 25% in terms of what it's capable of. And then once the refueling station is done, we'll be able to begin building on top of that. Um, first fleet, where is that heading to exactly? That's yeah, that's heading towards that location. Um, we'll do. Excuse me, guys. Sorry about that. <laughs> Discord. Um, okay, so, um, okay, uh, so, so I got a little bit distracted, I got a message over on Discord, so I need to make sure everything is going well with the Shred Empire series. Now, uh, first fleet's moving there, we currently have main fleet, which is 27 million litres of fuel over here. What is our fuel situation currently? Yeah, not looking too hot. Uh, that's for damn sure. Uh, let's momentarily start with those fuel that fueling up. I'm gonna cancel this, and I'm gonna order construction of. Uh, now that we have actual more resources, I'm gonna order construction of four more fuel harvesters, and we're going to need, I think, better construction and production research. We need a lot of research that we missed out on because we're focusing all that research, all that energy onto. Onto, uh, onto military efforts. So that's kind of the problem here. Uh, though hopefully our civilian situation should be helping a little bit. If we go to Naval Org, we currently have two civilian corporations. So we have this shipping line, which is 1.3 million tons with a lot of wealth. And they're currently doing trade goods. Their destination is ASX Stannis, however. And then you got this shipping line, which is going to Wolfsguard, which is trading pharmaceuticals, apparently. Um, and so yeah, we're just gonna do one day. Okay, we finally finished surveying of Alton Toy before. Let me head over to Alton Toy. So that was our survey ship on one of the Racker worlds. Uh, so if I look at minerals, uh, B four, uh, twenty six million tons of point nine accessibility boronide, twenty seven million tons of point eight accessibility corbamite. I'm uh, I'm pretty happy about that. That's pretty good. Um, are there any other areas within this air this place that is any of any value? Well, the third, obviously, but um, the first planet could also be of some some value. Um, so I'm gonna have the Potomac River uh go into the first planet, do a geological survey. 
Um, we've got to be careful though. Uh, and this is why we need to secure the system. We need an active presence within the system. We need monitors within the system as well. Um, and so I'm going to, you're currently refueling from Colony. Once you're done, head south and toy um, and begin your duties there. First fleet complete orders. Uh, yeah, head south and toy now that you're refueled with as much fuel as you can get your hands on. Uh, we're going to be moving the HHS Andromeda point over. Um, we're running out of fuel there. That's the problem. Um, we need more fuel as much as we can get our hands on. Uh, finally, getting some automated mines over here, which is going to start helping our production um, as much as we can, anyway. Uh, total modification 663. Um, yeah, we're trying to we're trying to produce uh, or get as much of this minerals as possible so that we can then ship that off uh, back to Earth uh, for obvious use. Uh, Lorinel also does contain some uh, galaxite. No, it's just mainly corundium and uranium, which is both very valuable to us. So I'm not going to hesitate. But over here, we also have those. Automated mines-wise, we have 70 automated mines available. But do we have the tugs available for transport? Um, that is the main issue here. Uh, these are orbiting Earth. These are orbiting Alice and Toy. We have a bunch of hippers, which are going to need to get resorted out here. That's 24,000 tons of shipping. Um, what is the HHS Andromeda area? So 0.32 can maintain that many. You should be able to maintain enough for what we need. The problem is waiting there. So work shortages. <sighs> we have to get uh, workers over here. But the problem is it's kind of hard to do so um can i i want to make sure that uh these are stable sites stable stable and uh we'll get stuff moved over if we can first fleet's complete orders um i'm gonna have first fleet just stay in orbit of i'm gonna detach uh this fleet and i'm gonna order the three alsace class vessels to detach you are to head towards the fourth planet um, and to act as uh, essentially uh, just defensive operations, really. Now, what's the third planet? Because that has contact over it. A3. A3 is terrestrial world. A lot of Corundium, a lot of resources in general. And then we also have A4, which is also another terrestrial world. When are we getting that refueling station done? We'll have that done somewhat shortly, apparently. Um, we're also building up those fuel harvesters, which we're trying to get completed, and that's going to take quite a bit of time to get them done. Uh, Lothringen repaired, uh, Sashin, Dolphin, uh, Light Pods, yeah, don't worry about it. Uh, unable to load infrastructure from Earth, I know. Um, that'll be on January, I'll split the stuff up out once January's over. Well, not January's over, but it's 16th. Botanic River has completed orders and is surveying uh, and is on top of B1. And B1 didn't contain anything of value. Uh, what about B2? B2. That's a Venusian world. So let's have the Botanic River go and survey that. Uh, B2. Once we defeat our enemy, I'm going to start looking at um, other stuff. But there we go. Uh, we're now constructing that. Refueling station completed, so we can get that moved, hopefully. Uh, Same claim of cargo group. What are you doing right now? You are moving maintenance facilities towards one of these areas. Uh, Colonial cargo group, APTs. I mean, these are going to be better than nothing, really. Um, so I'm going to detach the Ackman. I mean, the Ackman, I want you to head towards HH Andromeda. Uh, check danger rating. No, head to HH Andromeda. And then begin a transfer of fuel uh, to the colony. Actually, just go to uh, Alpha and Toy immediately if you can. 48 days there. Uh, then I can tell these guys to begin picking up the excess pods. Uh, specifically the 200 uh, kiloton cargo pods. Well, I don't really have access to those, but where the hell are those 200 kiloton pods? They should be in Colonialis pods, probably. Tractor, yeah, there we go. Tractor, tractor, um, tractor both of those, and then we'll get that stuff moved around. So we'll go to Earth. I want to load a refueling station. Load, then take that over to HH Andromeda, then go to Absent Toy, 
and then unload that onto the fourth planet as quickly as you can and head back to Sol and do a refueling effort. Um, and in that essence, I'm going to tell the Ackman, the Ackman over here, head to HHU Dromedai and then head to Alves and Tori and we'll give you further orders on that point. Once we have the refueling station in place, we can then begin refueling in system. Contact Wolf 359, that's a survey vessel, so I'm not concerned. Um, but yeah, we also need to look at designing new ground forces, really. Um, let me have a look at our current infantrymen right now. Infantry guardsmen. Um, uh, okay. Yeah, infantry guardsmen, 2049, 5 tons, 15 armor points, uh, 10 hit points. Okay, and what can we design? Put armor with infantry armor. Personal weapons, that's 18 armor and 12 hit points we can design that with. Uh, compared that to that, which is 10. So that we can make an improved infantryman. Um, now, what are the worlds we're looking at facing here? So B3 is a prairie. Uh, temperature is pretty damn normal, however, and so is gravity. Um, hmm... Yeah, so is gravity and temperature. It's pretty normal. So there isn't really much I can do in the way of designing other forces for that. So I'm just going to create an infantryman. I'm going to call it Guardsman 2086. So it's about 40 years more advanced. Uh, we're going to give personal weapons or we can give improved. Yeah, let's just go for personal. I think that will be more than enough. Um... I'm not really sure why enemies' ground forces are capable of, uh, but we're going to need a lot of our own ground forces if we are to win. So we're going to create that. Uh, then I'm going to create a infantry with uh, crude uh, anti-personnel. I'm going to call this medium machine gun team. 2086, create that. Then I'm going to go for a light anti-vehicle. Well, not light anti vehicle. Um, we want uh, do we want bombardment or LAV? Shots three, one penetration twenty four. That's just kind of worse than this, but it does it does do more damage. But that's about it. Let's go for AT team um twenty eighty six. There we go. Create that. There we have our HQs, which should be fine. If we look at infantry, battalion, MMG, infantry guardsmen, all that good stuff. We'll have to get that researched, however, um, which will have to come in through here. For now, we're just going to have to train the forces that we do have, and we are training them up as much as we can. We're trying to get better ground force construction rates as well on top of that. Uh, th when are the 30 centimeter lasers going to be done here? Um... Yeah, uh, they send me lasers. They'll be done by end of year. Okay. Once our ship contact detected, repairs done. Uh, Potomac River is surveying currently. Uh, where's the Hindenburg? That was an Alpha Tory with our forces currently over Orca, and then we're also securing that jump point as well. Uh, how the salvage modules coming up, by the way, that'll be done, hopefully we should get some of those salvage modules done, because then we can bring it through and start salvaging, well, equipment and, and resources and, and, and other technologies. Um, okay, Galatite actually went up a little bit, that's good. Uh, fuel, I was fuel looking, 9 million litres currently on planet. Uh, slowly going towards research, um, I'm going to put the rest into wealth uh, as we try and sort our wealth situation out. Okay, the Ackman has now arrived, which is good news. Um, Atomic River complete orders, and what have we found? Duranium access, mainly Iridium. There was also Sorium on that world. Okay, I'm going to have the Atomic River then move away. And we're going to head over to B6 next. Uh, or B5, Geological Survey, because we've already surveyed B4. So let's go for B5 next. I'm also going to order the first fleet, 003, to head over towards, fuel's fine, we're going to head uh, over to B3, so give you uh, a little bit of time there. Whoa, why are you heading to A3, oh, it's an interest system jump.
Is there an entry system drawn point on this area? Yes, there is. Oh, interesting. There we go. So actually, won't take that long. Uh, fleet is coming up. Let's see if we detect anything. I want to know exactly about how many ships more they're building. Shipyard contact, 27,000. Ground force signature service to orbit weapon signature. Looks like most of Venezuela's were either scrapped or destroyed. So service to orbit weapons is what we've got to deal with. Ground force signature, 524,000 tons. We can estimate that'll probably be about 2 million tons of ground forces. Uh, we have on A4 a lot of ground forces, but not enough for what we're going to be needing. Um, and then we're going to, yeah, we'll probably need what? 16 divisions? Something like that? Probably. Uh, first fleet, just hold hold uh, orders. Um, I, what I would like is torpedoes. Uh, how is our stockpile currently? 34 multi-purpose torpedoes. And I wonder, would the service double weapons protect the shipyards? Because if not, I'm starting to feel like we need to do some shipyard hitting. Um, we have destroyers available here, but they're currently pretty damaged, and we need to get them repaired. Uh, repairing... Uh, science task group, yeah, Emden, Emden, we're trying to get those repaired, I'll be done in 2086 this year, so, gonna have to uh, wait on that. Uh, first fleet, there's a three, let me have you, I'm just gonna have you uh, contact follow, nah, ha have you head back to Alpha Centauri, head back to the jump point. Uh, but yeah, okay, it's good to know though that that's where the shipyards are. And if we can destroy the shipyards, we'll and just we'll slowly win based on attrition. Okay, infantry battalion train on Earth, which is good news. Um, science team has researched the power battery reactor. I'm going to put the rest now into wealth, uh, and then also into um, uh, the final thing that I want, which is going to be uh, power propulsion. I mean, we can go for magnetic, magnetoplasma technology, that's pretty good. Maximum engine size, power modifiers. Let's go for magnetoplasma. Get it underway. Uh, Pacific River has discovered a bunch of sorium, which is good news uh, on that world. Um, and I, the, the interesting thing to me is they haven't tapped any of these resources. Uh, you would think that they would, but they, they, they haven't. Um, in fact... Uh, th this area is largely unindustrialized, besides on their home world, of course. Um, no, why is the A6 doing that? No, go to B6, geological survey, good. Uh, jellyfish, Emden, lionfish, Emden, jellyfish, Emden, where the hell is the jellyfish? You guys, standard transit. Where are you located? You're located in the Alpha and Toy system. Do a standard transit here. Okay, go to HH Andromeda. Move to HH Andromeda. Then I'm going to order this Ackman to move towards HH Andromeda. Where's the Ackman? Ackman, Ackman. HH Andromeda. And then go to Andromeda A2. And then transfer fuel. And then transfer maintenance supplies. Uh, we'll keep you guys here for now until we can get stuff sorted out. Uh, oh, yeah, you guys need to head to, you, you guys do need to actually head over to Alvesen Toy. Head to Alvesen Toy. Okay, and then you guys can hold for now. You can hold for now. Um, you've already delivered your cargo, which that cargo is specifically for Alvesen Toy A4. And that is the maintenance facilities. But for those maintenance facilities, we're going to need to be able to establish a population there. Um... A much bigger one than we currently have, anyway. Uh, and I'm going to start bringing colonies, colonies, people, people in. Um, the problem is we don't have any spare APTs, really. I mean, we do have a couple, but the problem is they're not, they're not really, they're not that great in terms of their capability. Um, so I'm going to take them away here. We have, well, at least we have this. We're going to go to excess pods. Uh, tractor, uh, specified ship. We're gonna go for colony pod. We're gonna auto route. We're gonna we're gonna first off grab it. 
Whoa, are you not in the same position? No, you're not. So we're just going to wait like eight hours, eight hours, eight hours, eight hours, eight hours, eight hours. There we go. Uh, load up colonists, and then we're going to take them over towards Alpha Centauri. So we're going to go to Haitian Andromeda, Alpha Centauri, and we're going to unload them onto A4. Um, why is that not letting me unload? Hmm. It should be letting me unload onto the colony, but it's not for some reason. Does the colony pond not have a cargo shuttle station? It doesn't. Excuse me? <laughs> okay, that's a mistake. That, I don't know how that is that happened. Uh, unlock, uh, design, uh, and add in cargo shuttle station, or cargo shuttle bay. Um, okay, there we go. And then I'm going to order, because that should have been done a long time ago, because we designed these pods like 20 episodes ago at this point. Okay, unload colonists, then head back to Seoul. Don't go through the Bernard Star jump point, go through HH Andromeda, then go to Seoul. Then uh, refuel 66 days. Hopefully that will start to bring in colonists and uh, people to work in the maintenance facilities, which are going to be important to keep an active presence in the system consistently. Uh, furthermore, we can also offload uh, colonists and people. Um, now, I was told, did the Mark Graf, these guys, yeah, you guys are carrying people, so unload the survivors here, then head back to the jump point. Need to keep that jump point secure, uh, but yeah, should have uh, offloaded those. Uh, many plasma should be on the way. Active search is going to be done soon. Fuel harvest is constructed. Um, detach you. Fleet excess pods tractor two hundred kiloton go to Jupiter fuel harvesters. Release into there, and then we're going to have you join that again. Okay, and I want to have a know what is are they, are we actually like being able to get fuel from the fuel harvesters? Yeah. Okay, you need to have a better order of system now, though. So we're gonna move you back to there. Okay, good. Then I'm gonna set you up correctly. Okay, so fleets fuel Jupiter fuel harvesters. You're going to refuel from stationary tankers every 182 days. So that is going to be, let's have a look. 180 days in seconds. Um, someone sent me something for this, but I'm a little bit old fashioned. I just do it how I, how I do it. Um, so just give me, <laughs> give me a second, guys. So that's, uh, that's how much we need there. Okay. So refuel from them every half a year and then transfer that fuel to the colony and then cycle those moves. Okay, should not be hard at all. Uh, we found more sodium on uh, A4. Triple ultraviolet and 61 hydro on the lamprey. We need to move the lamprey out. That's what we need to do. Uh, catfish. You harvest, uh, you'll be done 25 days. I'm going to take the cult fish then. I'm going to take uh, you to 61 Hydra. Fleet, tractor, the lamprey, and we're going to bring you back to Sol uh, and then begin a refuel from the colony. Fuel is looking better. Uh, sodium is trickling in. The problem is we're having to kind of use our refineries for this for now anyway. Okay, we finally got some automated mines on this colony world, but do we have any mass drivers to actually send over? We do. Um, I need another APT. I don't really have any. Orbiting Earth. Okay, you're orbiting Earth. I'm going to just take this. I'm like, God, that is such a mess. The problem is it just creates so many messes. Uh, colonial pod tractor 50 kiloton. Okay. Tractor, good. And then I'm going to have you... Okay, you've completed orders, which is good. So you now have the cargo pod. Do not colony pod. No, release, 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 release. Well, I want you to load up the oh, 200 kilton. 
not so much kills on the 50 kills on 50 kills on. It keeps loading up the okay there we go it's loaded up the crack pod. Okay, load up mash driver one. Take that over to A6 Tannis. Uh not A6 Tannis, uh to Wolf's Guard. Uh, so yeah, Wolf's Guard, Wolf 359, take that over to this colony. Uh unlittle installations. Um and that should hopefully then sort out hopefully some Galasite problems we're having. Okay, that'll be a day for that, and then we're going to look back into Alpha Centauri. Should hopefully have stuff uh, moving. Uh, how about, oh, you have infrastructure loaded onto this vessel for some reason? Okay, unload that infrastructure, please. Okay, now load yourself up a uh, mass driver. So, one mass driver, please. So that also here, then do a deployment drop onto this, then head back to Seoul, then begin a refuel. Okay, Lambda 3 is continuing to have more issues, so we'll hopefully get that tracked to the way. APT Murray, I'm not sure what they're doing exactly, but how is our fuel situation? Because we now have this many. Yeah, so we now have 31.1 million litres of fuel being uh, taken. I would like to have a look at current active. Um, I would, yeah, I would like to have a look at naval officers, civilian, naval officers, production, and the mining is what we want, right? Uh, yeah, your side, but I want to have a look at naval admin commands because we should, yeah, naval admin commands are not looking too hot. Uh, craft service, uh, let's get that guy signed up. Um, Clean your logistic core. Uh, just get these guys assigned into these. And then, uh, where the hell is the fuel? Logistica Abteilung. Logistica Abteilung. Um, okay, should be good. And how much fuel, extra fuel does that give us? Is it production or fuel? It's production, I think, right? No, I'm gonna try that. I'm 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 confusing the two at the moment. Uh production Com Commodore Albert Naval Admin Commands Craft and Service assign that. I'm gonna presume it's mining, so I'm just gonna take mining then. Uh, come to host, uh, craft and service sign. Hopefully that will, uh, improve fuel mining, but I don't think it is, at least from what I can tell anyway. Either way, we are trying to mine as much fuel as possible there. Um, okay, coastal defense battery trained. Uh, we have coastal defense batteries currently situated over on HHG Dromade. I'm going to order, because we should have, um... Now we have these here, uh, which we're going to need more ambers for to grab. Uh, speaking of those, well, those ambers were on 2087 though, because just the costs associated. Uh, industry, maintenance supplies are looking okay. Uh, fuel transports, we're building. We're also going to have our first salvager ship done soon, which is valuable. Uh, Manchu scrapped, fuel maintenance supplies were covered, which is good. So if you look at stockpiles, Let's do, let's uh let's scrap all those. Let's uh disassemble those components. Uh, disassemble those. Scrap all of those. Uh, disassemble. Uh, that's thirty thousand tons, five hundred. So let's scrap those. That's a lot of resources we can get back. Um, standard navigational radars. Scrap that component. Uh, scrap that. Scrap those. Quad 20 centimeter near ultraviolet turrets. Let's scrap all of those. And then science department. That uh, twin 20 centimeter near ultraviolet turrets. I'm going to scrap that. True transport drop base scrap. Tiny maintenance storage scrap. And then scrap. Okay, so we gain a bunch of research points into magnetic confinement confusion, uh, fusion drives, which is quite a bit of ways away, but it's good to have it. Uh, we also gain a bunch of points into Gorse Cannon Technologies, as well as being Fire Control Technologies, Active Grav Sensors. Um, and we return ourselves with a bunch of minerals uh, back into the stockpile, which is 
basically what I want. Um, now, 30 centimeter lasers, those will be done in half a year now. Okay, complete switch access search sensor, that's good. Mineral shortage in main supply production at Alpha Centauri A4, which now means that we should have colonists on the planet. Is that correct? Uh, yes, we do. So we now have col uh, col a colony in the system. We'll need to transfer maintenance supplies over, however, so I'm going to order, uh, well, we need a refueling station to be moved over, ideally speaking. Um, where is, I remember ordering a refueling station to be moved over. Uh, one, three, move out and toy, refueling station. Yeah, once you arrive, you need to deploy that to number four. So that'll be in 29 days, and one of the 29 days, we'll move the Ackman over. Uh, Hessen constructed. Okay, that's good news. Um, cool fish, cool fish. You're arriving in 18.4 days. You are here, you are here. Herring, uh, colonialis, colonial pods, colonial APTs. The octopus is located there. Um, you're on the Austin toy system, you're on Earth. I'm going to detach the cod, tractor, excess pods, tractor the Hessen. Okay. Detach you, cod, come on, we need to tractor the Hessen. The Hessen. There we go. Now we're going to head over to Wards. Um, well, the first is going to be Proxima Centauri. That's where most of the salvage is. So we'll go over here. Um, begin uh, salvage nearest wreck. Um, yeah, just salvage nearest wreck. So Proxima Centauri has quite a lot of uh, wreckage. Um, well, not Proxima Centauri itself, but Proxima Centauri has wreckage. And then also 61 Hydra is the main place that has the most of the wreckage. Okay, fuel maintenance supply production. I'm gonna order the these guys to a halt on that. Um, so how long will you stand trying to 20 days? We're also nearly out of our racial wealth issue, which is uh, fantastic news. Um okay, the cool fish is now in has now complete orders, and that was for the lamprey last I checked. Yeah, it was. Um yeah, I'm gonna have you resupply from the colony and then I'm gonna order um how many maintenance supplies is that actually required for that? Six thousand, okay. Uh and I'm gonna order this shipyard to begin a repair order, or this shipyard actually. We can a repair order for the Deutschland class. We'll get that repaired up. Repair the earth, that's the vessel repaired. Okay, the Moray is on its way, and all the other vessels, Colonial Cargo Group. What, where is that Colonial Cargo Group? Oh yeah, you were delivering the refueling station last I checked. Yes, you were, which is good news. Uh, I'm then going to order the Ackman, which is station in our system, to transfer fuel, transfer maintenance supplies to the colony. Which is good news. Lubeck repair, that's good. Do we have a destroyer squadron ready? Yes, we do. We just need to do a refuel, resupply load ordinance order. Okay. Um, okay, we now have maintenance supplies and fuel on this planet, which is fantastic, which means that we can now uh, maintain a fleet once uh, possible. I want to have destroyers in system at the very least. Okay, I can complete orders, which now means we have a base of operations as an officer and toy within terms of a fuel support and fuel supplies. Uh, we're also going to be out of our wealth situation here shortly. Uh, further artillery battalions are being trained up, and we should have 30 centimeter lasers finishing up here shortly as well. Okay, and we should be recovering. Yeah, we're now, we now are recovering uh, those supplies. If we have a look over at the COD. If I can find the pod, there we go. Yeah, we're now getting uh, magnetic confinement fusion reactors and other resources uh, uh, taken uh, away. Uh, so the lamprey has been repaired. We'll have to uh, get that then moved out. But Oh yeah, the, I'm going to have to order the lamprey to begin a overhaul, however. 
begin overhauling. Uh, Cryptocracy upgrade has completed orders for that shipyard. That's good news. Yeah, now uh, it takes about 10 days to salvage one of these U1s. Okay, COD. Uh, what, are you, what are you doing, COD? Uh, blue COD. Okay, well, you've grabbed all those re that, that resources. Um, oh, the Mexico. Well, let's not have you head down that direction. Let's go to 61 Hydra. Much more valuable loot is in 61 Hydra. Hippo class vessel has been built. Uh, should be our construction. Okay. Our Centauri A4 is actually growing somewhat though. Now we have 9,000 tons of maintenance supplies. Uh, we're going to need a lot more workers, however. APT Halibut. Where the hell is the Halibut? Uh, Halibut, Halibut, Halibut. Halibut's there. Colony pod. Cargo. Okay, which means... Oh, that's the mass driver. Um... Now, where was those colonial people that needed the refueling? Yes, you need a refuel, then you need to head to Education Andromeda, then you need to head to Sol. Then we're going to refuel resupply. Okay, now he's looking 61 Hydra because we should be now picking up all these uh, these wrecks because that's a lot of wrecks to go through, I will, I will say that. Uh, 61... Uh, Hessen. Uh, can I do the order that wants your full cargo full? No, I can't. Uh, can't give an order like that. Um, yeah, no. But you can continue to salvage up these wrecks, however. Hessen, another Hessen done, which is good news. And then we'll get stuff moved over for that Hessen. Uh, if I can find a troop, uh, I guess the coalfish is available. Fleets, excess pods, uh, tractor Hessen, then on, then head to Boxford and Toy, nice Boxford Toy 61 Hydra, then standing orders, salvage nearest the wreck. Okay, we're slowly getting all this salvage done, which is uh, kind of a boon here. What's the current... Yeah, look at all these resources we're getting, like 3,000 Galassi. Um, we're even getting tech system data here. Electronic countermeasures. Bunch of different uh, ECCM, ECCM, basic navigational radars, rail guns. 30 centimeter rail guns is what they're using, apparently. Um, gives a lot of technical details as well. And uh, it was also cleans up the map a little bit. So that does help. Uh, but we can then transport most of these minerals uh, away. Uh, okay, 800, 800. Let's have you head back to Seoul and uh, unload all minerals, unload all ship components. And then I'm going to have you head back to 61 Hydra as well. Uh, only we get as much salvage as we can of the system and uh, of the resources. <sighs> okay, how is our efforts in Alpha Toy, however, going? Oh, yeah, I also need to, I also forgot, I need to sort this situation out because we have uh gonna have a lot of resources here so we're gonna send that to Wolfsguard. Um get those shipped over. Uh shortage and Fusorian production on Earth. Let's stop that then. Um as we try to build more harvesters to keep up with demand. Uh this is why fuel is so so important is is we have plenty of fuel nearby the problem is actually being able to get enough to that fuel. Um Okay, so COD, you should be heading home. Yeah, you are. And then we have the, uh, where, which one was it? The cuttlefish, which is going to be handling the rest of the stuff in system. As there are hundreds of thousands of tons of shipping here, so it shouldn't be too big of an issue at all. There we go. We're just going to start salvaging all of that stuff up. We even gain hundreds of points. Um, Okay, a couple more Deutschland class vessels completed. Research into the uh, ground force construction rate has also completed, which should help speed up a lot of this uh, res uh, a lot of this building. Uh, 30 centimeter laser focal size were also complete, but we did complete those two Deutschland class uh, vessels, or not vessels, but uh, monitors. So we can then move those directly into the system, uh, or into a system once we have access to, you know, actual tugs, uh, which is kind of the problem with the strategy you're going, is you need all these tugs. Um, research into 30 centimeter laser focal size. Okay, uh, perfect deal. 
uh, we now need to actually make a turret that is capable of using that. Uh, 30 centimeter. Uh, 30 centimeter ultraviolet. Oh, yeah, we need to actually research the laser itself. Uh, 30 centimeter ultraviolet laser. Uh, 24 damage, 960,000 kilometer range. Create that design, and we'll get that underway immediately. Uh, energy weapons. Uh, research 10. Uh, we want the. 30 centimeter ultraviolet laser, and that will be quite a bit of time before we can get that done. Okay, cool fish. Another fuel harvest is done, which is fantastic news. Uh, let me have you release that pod now. And I'm going to have you uh, grab one of the newer pods. Access pods, tractor, fuel harvester. Uh, Bring that over to the reef. Oh, yeah, the Jupiter fuel harvesting stations. We'll release that. Oh, the fuel harvesters. Fuel, yeah, fuel harvesters. We extracted. Refuel. Then do this again. So load active. Load second fuel harvester. Release into Jupiter fuel harvesters. And then do a refuel. Shouldn't take you too long. How is the cuttlefish coming about, though? Uh, in terms of getting uh, all of the uh, lovely, 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 lovely resources. Yeah, we've only got like 1,200 galaxite here. So, you know, th this, this, this salvage actually working out really well here. Um, and we're taking a lot of, of resources. We're also salvaging our own vessels. So we're recouping some of the losses we, we took in, in previous battles. Uh, complete research into a T-team. Now we're on research into Guardsmen. Okay, now we're salvaging mainly our own vessels here. Um, which is useful in that we can sort ourselves out. Also, our wealth situation has finally recovered, which means that we're actually going to be starting to produce resources at a more equivalent rate. There we go. Look at that. That's much better. 30,000 tons are being currently uh, mined from this planet. Um, we're mining 1,000 tons extra of galaxite over on this one. And then we're also going to be mining quite a, a 10,000 tons of resources over here. Uh, our corundium stockpiles have been going up massively. And so we can start to manufacture a significant amount of mines. Um, huh, we don't, yeah, we, we can, yeah, we can't support the population right now on that planet, which is the issue. Uh, Senkaku Squadron. Wait, we just have two Ambers sitting here doing nothing? Oh my god, that's annoying. Uh, 200 kiloton. We need pods. I need pods um, to move. Uh, to move stuff, APT Orca, APT Orca, where the hell are you guys? You're orbiting Earth, so we should be able to move you to this problem when everything gets lost, you just lose, like, vessels. Uh, where the hell are they? The Colonial Cargo Group, yeah, APT Hammerhead, Ambers, um, APT Orca, Tractor, both pods, okay. Tractor, then load up infrastructure on the planet. Um, yeah, load up infrastructure, then take that over towards HH Andromeda. Then take that into Alpha Centauri and deliver that to A4. Uh, unload all installations. There you go, then head back to Sol. Put on refuel. I keep cycling those orders. I'm going to have to start producing that much, though, however. Um, infrastructure. I'm gonna cancel the last Hessen and I'm gonna order up uh 3,000 infrastructure to be made with the hopes that that will uh get sorted out. Um, cool fish is actually doing really well though. Like, our sal the salvage operations were actually really high to uh, like high, 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 high to I mean, look at these resources we're just getting back. Um, Okay, Halibut complete orders. What was the Halibut doing? I don't remember. Um, wasn't the Halibut handling salvage operations? Am I correct in thinking that? There should be a Hessen around then if there was a... Sal no, no, the Cod was handling it. Okay, well, we unloaded most of those components anyway, and then we have a look at, at those components. Let's do a disassemblement of those. Scrap, 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 scrap. Uh, cargo shawls, um, ECCM, ECCM, 
Uh, oh, I should have kept the ECM too. Uh, you guys can be disassembled. You're being scrapped. And then everything else is just going to be scrapped here uh, for extra money. There we go. Have a look at that. 10 research points came from that. A bunch of research points came from the reactors. Once we get up to, once we actually get to inertial, we're going to have a massive discount uh, to the next level of uh, engine technology. Because it's just a form of gain. We're going to have magnetoplasma drive soon, so that's something. So the next generation of warships can use that as magnetoplasma drives, and then we can start retiring the old ones. Speaking of the next generation, um, we can currently maintain... 18,000 tons of vessel shipping there. Um, I am going to set up something, however. Where is this Ackman here? I'm going to have you head to... No danger. Uh, have you head to uh, Sol with explicit new orders. And I'm going to order these guys. I'm going to rename these to the first destroyer squadron. Uh, how is ammunition looking like? Got full ammo, got full everything, pretty much completely ready to go. We bring these guys up to the Hawk and Flot. Um, training's a bit sparse, but they've got missiles, they'll be okay. Uh, you're going to head to, uh, ignore danger rating, uh, head to HH Andromeda, and then we're going to head over to Arsene Toy, and then uh, you're going to head towards this planet. With the goal of taking over operations there, if you'll resupply. Uh, and I'm going to order First Fleet, which is currently over Alice and Toy, and has had a damaged ion drive, which is uh, could have been an issue. Uh, to head to there, and then you're going to head back to Sol, and then begin a refuel resupply, begin the overhaul. Same with this fleet as well. We're going to have them head to, Alice and, uh, to this area, and then we're going to have them head directly back to Sol. With us leaving destroyers there to overwatch the area, uh, that being the goal anyway. MMG teams completed, which means we can start to re-sort our infantry battalions. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, so I'm going to create a new infantry battalion. We're going to call it Infantry Battalion uh, 2087. Uh, now I'm going to put this at uh, WH. And then I'm going to put in exactly what I need. So battalion headquarters. It's going to be the exact same composition, 771 Guardsmen. And then 40 MMG, 40 Anti-Tank. And then Anti-AT Team. There we go, and that gets us 5,000, and gets us a infantry battalion that's capable of doing what we need it to do. Uh, we're going to need further research, however. We're going to need one in to... Uh, yeah, we're going to need heavy anti-vehicle, really, and to get heavier anti-vehicle, we're going to need MAV. Yeah, we can't really put bigger anti-vehicle penetrating weapons, which is kind of the problem. So I'm going to replace them with medium MAVs, so we're going to go medium AT team uh, 2086. And then we're going to create that. And then I'm also going to need bombardment. We're going to go medium bombardment. I'm going to give this to uh, medium artillery team. There we go. Create. And then I'm going to have to put those into research. So ground combat. Uh, research. Research that. And then we're going to go for research into that as well. Okay. <sighs> How is resource collection continuing to go, however? That is something that I always want to keep an eye out. Always, always, always. Um cool fish, cool fish. We're nearly good. Uh, but that's a lot of salvage we're getting, which is uh, good news. First the short squad should include orders and is orbiting out until A4. Um hopefully if we get out until A4 built up enough, we can begin to maintain. We just need a little bit more people on the planet to maintain it. Um, and we're also supporting the population there as well. Uh, I'm going to get make sure we assign a governor as well to the planet um, in hopes of strengthening population growth and strengthening other areas. Um, research into EM sensor complete. Mark Graf, Rhineland, Sashin. Uh, uh, 
you need a help. Uh, my graph slash in 2500 comments per second. You need to detach. You guys need to go on on your own. 5.5 days. Uh, and then... Uh, Von Deter. We, have, we should have a Tug available now. Halibut's available. Uh, go over and grab it. Uh, Wonder to track to specified ship. Tracks that to port, please. Okay, first please, those are two complete orders and has arrived. Good news. Um, shouldn't say too long. And they're out of fuel. Of course they are. 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 Um. I'm just going to sort that fuel situation out because it's just a pain in the ass. I don't want to micromanage it. Um, so just get the hell back to port. And then begin your overhauls. Uh, amber refits complete. Oh my god, thank thank the lord itself. The am am we have amber refits now done. Where the hell have they been assigned to? Military shipyard. Okay. I have a f uh, an immediate first task. It's that you. And you're going to uh, you're going to go to military shipyard, and you're going to track to the monitors. Those two, and you're going to bring them over to H H Then you're going to bring them to Alveston Toy. Okay, hopefully that shouldn't take too long, but you got to bring them over. Uh, Magnetic plasmas will have that done in about four years. Uh, Thirty centimeter laser will have that done soon. I think we should we should think about designing our vessel with magnetoplasma technology in mind, and in that case, in ter in terms of potentially increasing the um uh first off, we need to add in main engineering whenever we get that done. But I want to have a look at. I'm going to bring up the calculator real quick. In terms of utilizing uh, magnetoplasma technology in regards to our vessel, so I'm going to go for 30,000 tons and I want a speed of. Can we do 10,000? We could. It would just require 33% uh, of the vessel with a significant power boost as well. So that's not economically viable. So what about, why don't we just go for an increase to 7,000 kilometers per second? 7,040. Auto engine size, 80 HS. Okay, so 80 HS is how many tons? Isn't that? 80? 4,000 tons, okay. Um, with a power boost of 1.65. Let's do it for 6,400 kilometers per second, which is a small increase, but it's not massive. Um, and that gives us an efficiency that I'm pretty comfortable with. So we'll go for an engine size of 75, uh, 75 HS, and then uh, we're going to go for 1.65 power boost. No, 1.60 power boost, apparently. 1500 EP, oh, I need to do that. And then 1.6, and then we're going to go for a size 75. There we go, prototype. And let's get that designed up. This will also increase our tracking capability with main weapons, but we're using turrets anyway, so it's not that important. Okay, and uh, I need my new plasma. There we go. Uh, Koenigsberg. Uh, oh, we need to the ion drives off. There we go. And we're going to put on the magneto plasma drives now. Two of those. So that gives us a that increase our speed to six thousand four hundred kilometers per uh, second, uh, which is a significant improvement. Uh, it does increase cost quite significantly. However, the extra speed is going to be very useful on a strategic level. Um, and I'm going to uh, take off some of the uh, some of the fuel as well because we're not going to need it. Uh, we do need that one though. Um, yeah. And then the rest of the design remains practically the same, but still, um, overall, I'm I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with that design. Uh, I'm gonna do the same for this, even though we did already design those ion drives. I think that it just makes sense uh, at this point to do a redesign. So fourteen thousand, and then we're gonna go for a two size forty engines. Uh at a engine boost of 
uh, 1.4 and then size 40. Put the type. Okay, Bayern and then power boost or engine. Um, there we go, 6400 kilometers per second. And that works out pretty damn well. Um, there's nothing specifically else I want to add to this, but 6400 kilometers per second will become the new fleet uh, ship, uh, the fleet speed. Um, and I'll be happy for it to become that speed. Uh, so the Bayern, we're just going to need that engine done and we'll also need the laser turrets done. So there's a lot more we need to actually do. But I think that's when we'll end the episode off. I actually think we did really well this episode. We've, we've established ourselves with Alpha Centauri. We nearly have a, a full maintenance shipping yard that we can now maintain a, a squadron of destroyers in the enemy's home system. And we also managed to solve a lot of our mining issues, uh, mining a lot more galaxite, a lot of other resources, shipping them over to this world. And in turn, um, mining just a ridiculous amount of, 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 of stuff um an absolutely ridiculous amount and that is helping boost our economy with galasites up most of the other resources are up sorium is still an issue but we're going to hopefully get around that with more fuel harvesters but yeah i hope you guys have enjoyed please like comment subscribe really really does help me out i'll see you guys next time goodbye